tears. Like <laughs> it shall end in tears. <laughs> <laughs> it ended in tears. So like sometimes giving a child up for abortion, like some some parents do not like some lead women are not really comfortable with that fact because they feel um they, there would still be some part of them missing for the rest of their life okay even though you know the child is going to be adopted to a rich home or whatever kind of home you will still feel you have this missing part of you yeah. that somewhere in the future you would want to go back to your past and go and look for this child and this can cause you problems because maybe this child will be old now mm -hmm. and then that family or that um orphanage or wherever the child may be they wouldn't just be comfortable giving giving you the child okay okay just giving you the child okay so i feel it though i mean i feel you i feel you, you. you get you get yeah, the vibe okay? I, I'm, I'm getting the drill so in fact you, you get but, it. i mean so guys I, it's not i see um this this option is not available or mm -hmm. is not good mm -hmm. it's just not accessible in many countries you know in some parts of africa but this really can really happen here in um, abroad when you're abroad and you are yet you said to have a child you, you don't have worries because you are going to be supported somehow by the government or like there is just something that you are definitely gonna gain from even if you are single mm -hmm. yeah okay, like so in most of the developing countries it's, it's actually easier for them to um actually help you in such cases so yeah. i think georgia is actually right okay georgia uh you have actually uh elaborated like enlightened us on this topic but okay. i i have a, a, a steady case for you like okay. i have this shot i wouldn't say a movie but it's a short story i want you to find the answers for me okay okay I'll find now the answers. I'll this try. is the situation <laughs> I'm, sh I'm sure look you are married okay okay you are home You'll be praying hard for a baby, okay? okay? And this baby is not coming. Like you guys have gone through the what's it called like the like the the artificial insemination is not working, whatever pregnancy, uh, you know, vitro, whatever. You've done all those things, but still it's not working. And one night you were sleeping with your husband, okay. and arrogance just barge into the room and then force your themselves like you rape your wife, okay? I know, <laughs> like this arrogance raped you, okay? And for some reason you got pregnant. Now, mm. think about it. You've been praying for so many years for a child. Your husband couldn't do it. A stranger comes in to steal from you, destroy you, probably kill you, but it never happened, but actually raped you. And through the, I mean, the, like the results of the rape, you got pregnant. Are you going to abort this baby? Being a Christian, knowing well that eliminating a baby is murder. It's, uh, like, it's a crime. What will you do? Now think about it very well before giving the answer because my next question will come from your answer. I mean, obviously, a Christian person um, shouldn't abort a baby, right? Yes. So not a Christian person. I I believe like anyone because abortion is quite risky. It's a okay? sin. Yes or no? It is a sin. Okay. It is a sin, but people do it anyways. So we are not gonna elaborate on the sinning part right now because you didn't ask me about that in the, in the first place of course but yes it is a sin okay but apart from it being a sin i believe it is very risky okay that is why there are a lot of advocates out there against abortion and there are a lot of advocates out there who are also in for the motion so yeah it depends and depends on the situation you find yourself in or where where you are but i would say look it is very risky it can cost you your life or um you can, you can end up dying you can end up having a lifelong complication my question was will you keep the baby let's just say a baby of an app of a thief okay a yeah. baby of an iron robber okay. who came to a house to steal and actually rape you are you going to keep that baby Yes or no? I just want that simple answer. Hmm. Okay. Guys, this question here. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know if I should answer this or not. But, well, because if, if you cannot answer, I can actually help you in this question. Or I ask the question, but at the same time, I can actually answer I, it. I think we should ask my husband. No. Because let me call my husband. Let me call my fiancé, okay? <laughs> Guys, I'm going to put him... No, I don't think you should call your husband. 
I'm your husband is not I'm around not here. So. Call. I have, I don't listen, have a husband. Let's talk about this. Look, listen. somebody will tell her, like, somebody will say that, okay, I don't know this person who raped me. Okay. He's an arrow robber, so I'm going to get an abortion. But think about it. It is the person, it is the father who is an, uh, uh, like a thief, okay? okay? But the innocent baby is not a thief. Okay. Likewise, it is not a, the fault of the unborn child that mm-hmm. the father came to rape you. Mm-hmm. So don't you think in this case the baby is innocent? The baby, of course, the baby is innocent. And knowing very well that you have been praying, taking communion, sacrificing, going to Atria Mountains order to pray for a baby, mm-hmm. and someone just came to give it like this. Mm-hmm. I gonna bought the baby. Come on, think about it. Think about it. I wouldn't do it. I'm not. I'm not saying I'm. I'm, I'm gonna. I know. I'm, I don't honestly, guys. I don't have a, a, an answer to this question <laughs> because I know my God will not fail me. Oh so yes. So this will not happen to me. Okay. 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 okay no problem. Uh, I mean, uh, that's a very interesting topic mm-hmm. for. So let's just end this by saying this. I mean, I want to know. Do you think abortion should be legalized? Hmm. Crispin. Georgia. This is the hot seat now, the mommy no. Wow, okay. Guys, this question is, I don't know. Georgia is just big to me today, you I, know, like. I, I, I don't want to come here and be spilling anything out of my mind, you know, <laughs> that I will regret. I actually put here, I actually put it on the spot today. That you know? I will regret, you know. I, I believe. Um, circumstances do show who people really are. Yes. You know, you can say something today, and you you just be bluffing until it really happens. Mm. That is where you have to make drastic decisions. So, I do I, 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 I can't say it should be legalized, and I can't say it shouldn't be. But I want to remain in the middle. So you are neutral. I am actually I'm really neutral. Oh oh oh! You are in between. I am. <laughs> You are actually weighing and see which one will take more weights or which one will take more like lights. Um, All right, guys. I mean, I, I if you know if you want to say it should be legalized, mm-hmm. yeah, you would you would leave people to believe in a reckless life. Okay. And if you want to say it shouldn't be legalized, mm-hmm. you know you would have the world in poverty. Because a lot of unwanted because babies. Because there will be a lot of. But, wanted babies but you know there 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 is nothing like unwanted baby i don't know people always use that, that word unwanted, unwanted babies, baby how is that possible but, i mean um, on plan let me say let me yeah. put it in that way on some plan. people say it's uh, you know i had this friend he told me that i i was like i was curious i was like what is rape and then this guy told me that crispin rape means unwanted sex or sex without information <laughs> <laughs> So he said, literally, rip is sex without information. <laughs> I wasn't ready. Wow. Yeah. So guys, sorry, I cannot answer if this, <laughs> this, if abortion should be legalized or not. But as a Christian, what my Bible teaches me is that it is a sin. So if I should speak like the Christian that I am, I would speak on it. Just I would speak on say it. That abortion shouldn't be legalized okay that is your stand yes um okay i mean i'm the one doing the question so that question i can never i i, I can't also answer that question because okay. i am the one doing I'm the question it to you and, but, too. do you think it should be this legal? is my territory okay you are in my territory of so course, you're in my territory i can, I can come into your territory <laughs> and then okay i will, honestly, I will tell, you will, don't be biased tell us do you guy you see he's trying to be biased look he's trying look, to be this is to, my studio to be, okay to be biased this is here. do you this is me this, this is, is all me this, you know you you life. are in me okay you are in me right now I am okay in your this is hey chris Payne, you know i'm doing the questioning you are doing the talking you know sometimes the, so the, the, okay 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 sometimes <laughs> the questionnaire can be <laughs> can be questioned of uh, well in I this case i'm going to answer this question truthfully to you okay, okay be look to your viewers, your viewers um if i find myself in this situation like if an, an arab rip my wife or okay. something like that and there's a baby pregnancy knowing very well that i've been praying hard for this baby mm-hmm. trust me in the beginning okay mm-hmm. i'll feel what's the word i will feel um uh, disappointed okay i'll be like why is god testing me okay okay in the beginning, I wouldn't understand it. But being an educated and very enlightened person, as I sit here right now, as being Crispin, um, I will maybe go for a therapy, counseling, you know, go through all these things, and then see. 
I don't even want to say see. I think eventually, it might not happen instantly, but eventually, eventually, eventually. <laughs> It might happen. I mean, I might, I might just accept this baby because look, babies have this kind of uh, this supernatural uh, feeling. Mm. Once you once you see them and you and like you just carry them, you feel this kind of fatherly, motherly, parentsly love, you know. So, mm -hmm. I, I I mean, I am a human being. I have feelings, I have emotions. Obviously, in the first time, and I mean the first uh, first, I mean the first place, I'm not gonna be happy about it. But I think in future, maybe. Daddy Crispin, maybe I'm gonna accept my. Baby. Yeah, because you know. Because um, when it is you not are the force of the child. When you, of course, but the thing is, when you are being raped, it takes a toll on you. Exactly. Your mental a trauma. And, and yeah, you, you, you end up. The the instance is not the right time to take such such a decision. Okay, you have to go through all that rehabilitations and stuff before you be in the right sense of mind to actually, you know, decide. And this question is not even like yours to decide now because yeah. at that time you would be married the the example or the instance you gave says you were married so of course you would the husband and the wife has to you know mm -hmm. decide together you know yeah, that's very good yeah so yeah guys okay. okay guys um georgia today has actually um i mean made me very happy today based on this topic i didn't know she was very really well enlightened on this like this wow Big things come in smaller shapes and sizes now, I believe that. So guys, um, I'm very, very happy you guys actually had time to tune into my channel and of course, watch my videos. I love you guys. Um, in case you're new to my channel, don't forget to subscribe. It's still Crispin Godwin, of course, but this vlog is called Hey Crispin. And um, for my new ones, don't forget to subscribe also. Don't just skip my video, okay? Like, just because I'm always, every week, I try to upload two videos, like Mondays and Fridays, okay, guys? I'm getting there, but I still want you guys to subscribe, share, tell your family and friends and all the people in your lives, you know? Um, Corona is still there. Um, I mean, wear your face masks, sanitize your hands. Georgia, do you want to say something to my people? Okay, thank you guys for watching. We hope that you learned one or two things from this video. Um, we are no pros or anything. We are not professionals. This is just something um we, we happen to know or this is just like we, we just sharing ideas out of our moral consciences and what we've been taught in schools or what we've learned in in the school of life so we hope that um you can relate to one or two you don't have to agree with us totally but we're just sharing um our knowledge with you guys and we hope you enjoy this kindly subscribe like if you've been able to watch till now what are you waiting for i know right just subscribe and um like subscribe. hit the the the, the thumbs up <laughs> and then turn on your <laughs> notifications yeah comment tell us what you think yeah. share your thoughts with us give us the thumbs up what do you think about the no topic? thumbs down what do you think about it go ahead and be open with us your opinion is very very important your to us opinion yeah. is really needed we, just, we, we, we are going to reply you as well we hope that we hope you stay glued to this channel yeah. we hope um that we can be able to bring you so much good content and yeah please do not leave this channel stay glued of course, says by the it's first Kristen, lady. Okay. Yeah, it's Kristen. Okay, it's Kristen. So, guys, we are out of here. And thank you for having me. Okay. Thank of you course, you're always me. welcome. Next time again, I'm sure everybody likes seeing Georgia, so we're gonna be having Georgia again. Okay, okay guys, stay safe and bye bye bye.